Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of UiPath Integration Services, where we would be creating a trigger that actually triggers the connection that we have established to make use of the third party application. So what we're going to do today is that this is the Google Drive. And once we upload a file here, the process should automatically get triggered whenever a new file is added. So these are the two files present with us, users new newsletter, which has the name of the user, their email, and a column that decides that whether email has to be sent to them or it shouldn't be sent to them. Then we have a newsletter to be sent. So this is the newsletter that would be sent to the desired user. So the process would actually get triggered once we upload this particular file onto the Google Drive. So before that, I already have a process made. And this process, the trigger that we create actually takes a five minutes time, like five minute interval to keep checking that whether a new file has been uploaded to the Google Drive or not. So we would create a trigger and then we would go through the workflow. So that meanwhile, the trigger automatically triggers itself. So we have updated the package and now we'll go on creating a trigger for the same. So because we are creating Google Drive trigger, we can either create the trigger from here at trigger or from the connection itself, we can click on these three dots and click on manage triggers that would automatically lead us here. And we'll click on add trigger that we want to add a trigger. So the connector, it has already detected. The connection has been detected. So the event is whenever a new record is created, which means whenever a new file is being uploaded, we can also have it as file or folder. So we want it to trigger whenever a new file is uploaded. What is the process that we want to execute? So which is integration exercise in modern is what we want to execute. And we'll give it unattended license because that is what it says, what is available with us. And we'll gonna click on add trigger. So this, was, this would actually add a trigger that would get enabled whenever a new file is uploaded to the Google Drive. Now over here, we're gonna upload that two files which is user newsletter and newsletter to be sent and we'll upload these two files. And now we would wait for the trigger to get enabled by itself. So it is awaiting install, we can quickly install it. And now we can go through the process that we have created. So this is the integration service, which is Google Drive. So we are using Google Drive and we're getting the file info. So whenever we are creating this type of particular process wherein we create a trigger, integration service trigger that actually calls a particular connection and gets the task done, there are four arguments that we actually pass, which is UiPath event connector, UiPath event, UiPath event object type, and event object ID. So whenever we actually create a trigger, so the main thing is UiPath event connector, we specify that which connector is associated with this particular event that we're triggering, whether it's a Google Drive connector, whether it's a Twilio connector, whether it's a OneDrive connector. So this actually specifies. So what do we do is that we check whether the event connector length is greater than zero, which actually tells that whether any event has actually been established or not, okay? And then we have a switch case wherein we define that, okay, if it's a UiPath Google Drive trigger, then this workflow has to be invoked. If it's a OneDrive trigger, then this workflow has to be invoked and so on and so forth. Now you can see the trigger actually got executed. So you can see it has is, is started running. So we can go to process, a job would have been triggered. So it has executed John Doe, which means it would have downloaded a particular file here in Tempa. So you can see user's newsletter has been downloaded. Once I click on OK, newsletter to be sent PDF. Now this particular PDF would be downloaded here on this location. As I click on OK, you'll be able to see that newsletter to be sent has been downloaded. Now, OK, so some error came in. Let's go and check out what the error is. So it says cannot find this file, verify the path is correct or not. OK, so it has dot PDF and dot PDF. The extension actually does not match it. So that is the issue. So we'll quickly fix it. So we'll go and check here in the G drive where we have passed this particular path. Okay, this goes okay. So it was able to print in the file name and it has downloaded, which means this was also passed in. Then we have 
this particular thing. Let's see if this particular log message was there or not. So it has downloaded a file. Let's see where the error was. So it has downloaded the file, newsletter. So now over here, you can see where it printed this thing. It had .pdf, .pdf twice. So it printed this thing here, which is newsletter had .pdf, .pdf twice, which means when here we are passing this thing, newsletter. So this actually has two times .pdf, .pdf. So what we can do, we can remove the .pdf from here so that it only has .pdf written one time, okay? So this is the problem that we did it. And that is why the mail wasn't sent. So the error we got was when it couldn't actually send in the mail. So now to run this thing, what we have to do, we'll have to first check whether the UiPath event connector length is greater than zero or not. So I quickly do that thing. We'll go on through that workflow once we update this thing because this would take a little bit of time to trigger as we just saw. So whenever this length is greater than zero, we can actually go on checking that which particular trigger has been invoked, like the associated third party app with it. So we'll have UiPath event connector here in the expression. So the in the default case, we can print a log message that, okay, this is a wrong, trigger or there is no connection associated with it. Otherwise, when it is the Google Drive trigger, so we'll write it as UiPath Google hyphen drive. So when this particular trigger has been invoked, the Google Drive trigger, so what are we going to do this time? We're going to invoke a particular workflow for it. Okay, so it is not int, of course it is not int because it is string. So we'll make this thing a string and then we'll type our UiPath Google Drive. And over here, we'll have to invoke a particular workflow, which is our Google Drive workflow. And what we have to pass to this Google Drive workflow is the UiPath event object ID. So every event is associated with a unique object ID. And that is what we're gonna pass here to this particular workflow, UiPath event object ID, using which the file that actually triggered would actually have an object ID. And that file would be, you know, identified by that object ID. So we'll pass UiPath event object ID. Before I go on explaining this particular thing, I'll quickly publish this thing so that we can actually see this thing in running. So I'm gonna publish it. So here I publish it. I'll go back to my orchestrator and update the package associated with this. So here I update its package, confirm. And now I'll have to put a new file here in the Google Drive because our trigger only gets triggered when a new file is uploaded to the Google Drive. So I'll upload users newsletter here and now I've uploaded it. So now it would go on with its trigger every five minutes when it checks and when it identifies that okay, a new file has been uploaded, it would go on taking the further calls. So once it identifies that particular file, so there is a file details, which has the file name created, modified, what is the size and everything. Now, if that file details dot name dot contains users, which means the file that we have identified contain users because the file name is users newsletter. So we'll go on downloading that particular file onto our temp path. So path.get temp path would give a temporary path of your local memory and it would download the file there. And then we'll go on reading that file and we'll check that, okay, if to be sent is yes, which means we have to send an email to that particular user. So I'm just putting a message box to, you know, praise the course of our program. So as you saw it printed John Doe. And when we have got that thing, so we'll then look for a newsletter to be sent PDF on our Google Drive. If that particular PDF is found, we are again downloading that into the local memory. And that is what we are printing where it had dot .pdf, dot .pdf two times. And then we are simply using current row email dot to string. We are putting subject body. And in the attached files, we are passing that newsletter, which is the dot .pdf extension. As of now, because we do not want to send it, we would be saving it as draft, okay? 
So we would be saving this thing as a draft. I'll again publish it because earlier when I published it, it wasn't saved as draft. So I'll publish it as draft. And I'll quickly go on and update my process before it gets triggered. So if I, so you can see an updated version is present here. I'll quickly confirm it so that it takes the updated version. Okay, and I'll click on awaiting install so that it actually installs the latest version. It does not take a lot of time running it. Now we'll just wait for some time for this particular integration service to get triggered because it looks for, it has a gap interval of five minutes before it actually starts looking for it. So once it actually looks for it and find it, it would again, you know, download that user file and everything here in the temp memory. I can even go on deleting these two so that it downloads it and we could actually see an entire fresh run. So this is how you can actually create a trigger whenever a new file is uploaded or a new folder is uploaded or an existing file is updated or an existing file or folder is deleted. And it is not just restricted to Google Drive. You can even use OneDrive and SharePoint because connectors for them are also provided. So waiting for this process to get triggered because we've already uploaded the file here, user's newsletter. So let's just wait for it to get triggered. Okay, so now you can see integration exercise has started executing. So John Doe is here. And if we go back here at temp, we have got users newsletter. We'll click on okay so that it could proceed further. And you can see newsletter to be sent PDF is also done. And now we'll wait for the execution to stop. Now we have Robert Smith. We have again have newsletter to be sent.pdf. Okay, so now it went into successful. If we go back here to a draft section, we have newsletter attached to John Doe and Robert Smith. Yeah, so yeah, that's and we can open this newsletter. It's the same that we just saw. So that is how you can utilize the integration services with the triggers and connectors available to make very smooth processes and complex processes as well, because all of them actually involves enterprise level application and the integration to them has been made very easy with the help of UiPath integration services. So you can drop your doubts in the comment section below and stay tuned for the next video. Till then, thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.